Hello everyone, Emil here and I would like to welcome you back to Let's Play Supreme Ruler 2020. For those of you who haven't seen uh, the first episode of this Mongolian campaign, uh, we are now, uh, as you can see, at war with China. Uh, they've conquered um, quite a big chunk of our territory, but uh, of course um, this was a deliberate move by us because uh, we couldn't defend it. So um, we are at the moment allowing the Chinese forces to push up this uh, road to Ulaanbaatar and once they get here uh, we destroy them, their, their units or damage them um, one by one. Uh, our uh, other major move was to, to secure these two towns on, uh, on this river so that uh, we can uh, protect our flank. In other major news, China is at war with Russia, which um, it's good, it takes uh, some of the pressure off of us. Um, they're also at war with North Korea, they're at war with um, Taiwan, they're at war with India, and uh, surprisingly also with Pakistan. So uh, the Philippines at war as well, so um, of course uh, I don't think uh, we are China's uh, main target uh, at the moment. So this um, this could play uh, this could play into our advantage for us, uh, not being the Chinese main concern, being regarded as a, a weak enemy, and uh, that's uh, that's of course uh, advantageous for us. I'll uh, go ahead and uh, put the game on uh, on faster speed. Other war in the world. Uh, Serbia eliminated Kosovo and is uh, currently at war with uh, Macedonia and uh, also with uh, Bosnia. So basically Serbia trying to recreate uh, Yugoslavia. Uh, the US is at war with Cuba but uh, not much uh, movement on that front. Israel of course uh, at war with its Arab neighbors. <coughs> seems to do well for the time being they've uh, pushed quite a lot into into Syrian territory we can see they have probably units stranded here in the desert that's why the this enclave uh, is here on the map but uh, yeah let's go back to our our own things. The UN provides us with military advisors. That's that's great. That will uh, boost morale and uh, efficiency. India formal alliance. Actually, I plan to at one point conquer India. Of course, I plan to conquer all of Asia. So I'll have to say no. To this, I would love to take this from Algeria, but unfortunately, our treasury is in minus, so we will need to get some of that those uh, hydro dollars from our good friends, the, the Saudis. Good, and let's check. I think um, once we have enough enough units, we could. I would like to start a push here in this area. If I could get uh, two stacks of seven units, take this, and then try to to take this city of uh, Karamai. That would be great, but uh, of course. Things move rather slowly here in, uh, in Mongolia, and we still have a lot to uh, a lot to build and a lot to develop until uh, be able to to do that. Unfortunately, we see Chinese fighters are uh, bombarding us. Chinese ground attack aircraft. Let's try to push a bit, a bit further and, and reclaim some uh, territory. See if we encounter any resistance. None so far, except uh, of course for the 
aircraft. Okay, now we encountered some slow distance. The unit is, is actually following us. This might not have been okay. We're gonna be okay. Because the Chinese have uh, much more advanced units than us, we're gonna have to rely mainly on the units that we've started with and try uh, not to lose uh, so many of them, and on the light infantry units that we are currently currently uh, producing. These I would love to destroy, and I have to destroy them. It's important to make sure that the Chinese are not able to supply their units. That leaves them stranded and very vulnerable to, to us. That's great. That's Thirty-four point one. We are a democracy with close to three million people. Five garrisons. I could probably take them out with these three units right here. But I will send more units. I will try to shift the. Uh, our strategy would be to sh shift the focus from here. If we play a defensive war here, I'll try to capture as much territory here where we have, uh, of course, we saw that uh, there are some uh, oil fields and um, there are also some uh, uranium reserves in this area here. Which. Uh, Will come in handy in the in the future. Time for another deal with the Saudis. Oh, we're gonna get a lot of money right now. Nine hundred million. That is good indeed. That's uh, it's good money. It's keeping our economy afloat. of entrenched troops there. To be honest, I don't uh, think uh, if I would be China, I wouldn't pay much attention to me right now. We see some movement of uh, Russian troops into China. see Indian uh, troops moving into China so um, I wouldn't really worry myself about Mongolia if I were China they seem to have sent one unit here Military goods uh, on the world market are really, really expensive. We we need this uh, facility here completed as as fast as possible. 
So I'll probably take the engineers, these two engineers, since um, they don't see a lot of action here. Now that Russia has uh, attacked, I don't think uh, China will, will be considering attacking these positions and uh, I'll send them here to aid with the construction of this uh, of these two facilities here. Let's see what Serbia is doing in Europe. Macedonia is doing fairly well. I mean, for one, uh, for such a small country at one point fighting Serbia all alone, I thought it would be a walkover for Serbia, but. It doesn't seem to be the case. Macedonia is holding its own, and uh, also I think this should be already Serbian or Co former Kosovan or Serbian territory. So Macedonia holding its own there against Serbia. I'll form a hit squad. So to say, just to pick off the I'll try to go in from behind these units and oh I should maybe there are artillery units. Their armored infantry, this our equipment is really, is really pathetic. Yeah, I go I'll go from here. Quite a larger force than I than I thought I would encounter here. But uh, yeah, pleased with the results. Of uh, course, not happy with the loss of that tank unit, but we did destroy some artillery and. That's good. I hate artillery. I just uh, I hate when I see in some other games when uh, I fight major wars against um, great nations and I don't know I arrive at the gates of Moscow or uh, or here also it happens often in uh, in Seoul. If the North Koreans uh, arrive, they'll just uh, bombard everything and raise this to the ground. The Seoul will be left with. A uh, few hundred thousand people, and it's just a shame to see those uh, great cities in ruins, basically. Again in red. Again, water. Let's capture this agricultural production facility. And that was it. That's good, that should uh, once completed. That should uh, give us a boost. In agricultural production. Labor shortage, 1.6. Okay.
Okay, an engineer is the one that we have. We'll finish off this. Not much going on at the moment, to be honest. It's uh, it's one of the downside of uh, playing such a small country. It's not like uh, you have a lot of things going on at the same time, and uh, it doesn't make for quite an, such an interesting uh, game in the beginning, since uh, you don't really afford to take on multiple projects at the same time. So Basically, I just look around the map, wait for for some units to repair or for some um, buildings to be finished. It's uh, not very very exciting, but uh, hopefully in the next few episodes it will get a bit uh, livelier. Uh, once uh, we have a good, uh, we establish a good economy and. Uh, we start producing uh, some military goods, start having positive cash flow without uh, having to sell water the whole time to Saudi Arabia, and then of course uh, we can start conquering some, some territory, uh, start increasing this population base uh, that we have, uh, increasing the unemployment rate because uh, right now it's uh, too low. It sits at 1.6. This, of course, uh, um, affects the production uh, price of goods. And uh, this plane should really go back home. No promise, crap, this unit's uh, totally worthless. Um, 33, yeah. Let's grab this as well. Okay. Who's offering Papua New Guinea? No, thank you. Papua New Guinea. I don't like making a lot of uh, allies, first of all. Not in the region that I aim to conquer later. Which will be... Eurasia, basically, and uh, I don't want any allies here. I want to to conquer the whole region. I'll start obviously with China. I hope because China is at war with so many of his neighbors. When we will eventually be able to to capture China, I hope that we can get some good good chunks of it. I hope uh, that India, basically this is the area of China that interests me the most. This is probably home to close to 700 million people, just this area here. So um, I'll have to push down as uh, soon as I, I have the opportunity, I'll have to, to move some forces down and make sure we cut off India from uh, reaching this area. And when China falls, does uh, this capturing this area that would really put India in a position where it would be a country with uh, two to two and a half billion people? That would be a massive challenge for us then to to take on, and of course, superbly guarded by the Himalaya mountains uh, in the north. But uh, yeah. There's still plenty of time till then. Let's focus now on uh, what's at hand. On uh, capturing Chinese uh, territory. I wonder, yeah, it seems that these units are healing very slowly, but they are healing when entrenched. Which is good. Treasury is again. I think half of this game is just me selling water. Okay, this looks good. Let's uh, 
think we, we can send them here. And we can at least try to take uh, Karamay. I don't think we'll be able to. I should build a barracks here. Oh, it's just coming along, it's good. It's a horrible deficit we have. For a country so small, we have a 30 billion dollars a year deficit, 31 billion dollars a year deficit. A debt of 3.6 billion. Uh, if you remember in the last video when we looked uh, at it, it was only 1.6. It seems like I'm taking in more and more debt. The sale of water to the Saudis isn't really doing the trick. It's not uh, keeping us afloat. It is keeping us afloat, but it's uh, it's barely it can barely compensate. We can see that obviously it's not enough since um, we've uh, accumulated uh, again uh, close to two billion two billion uh, dollars more in uh, in just a few in just a few months so obviously we will need uh, we will need to improve our economy if we are to, to take on this uh, great uh, superpower that is china Our fortification is almost complete here. Although at this point it could, it's almost obsolete before it's uh, even built. Since I don't think that China will mount any large-scale attack on uh, on the capital anymore. I don't think, uh, as I said before, I don't think China sees us as. Uh, as an important uh, as an important adversary or as a formidable foe that they need to uh, take care right away it is their, their mistake a strategic blunder so to say but uh, yeah it puts us at an advantage and we will of course profit from this It seems they're pushing again with uh, some forces here. The Chinese. Military goods. It's an insane price. Industrial goods, consumer goods. Produce quite a lot of power, that's good for now. Coal, I'm concerned about this coal mine here. I'd really love it if it was here somewhere. Let's see where else can we. Yeah, this would have been much better if, if this coal mine was here, but you can see there is this huge coal belt here. It's uh. We have quite a few. We have quite a few coal reserves here in the in the south of the country on the border with China. Chinese, the Chinese. Korea looks to go the same way as it always does basically I never saw North Korea win the war against South unless aided by me um, but just with no interference by the by the player by by me I've n I never seen North Korea defeat South Korea which I don't know, probably in reality I would 
also not happen. Well, the situation is now, I think, Serbia, it's Serbia's done for, basically. They're at war with well, Hungary, Croatia, Austria, uh, Bosnia, Finland, Hungary, I said Hungary, I think, Macedonia, all on the we Ukraine. Need reinforcements. We need reinforcements. Ah, look. How cute. We have some artillery. Goodbye. Block it. That was good. Okay, again, a cell of one of the Sonys. from plus 750 million to minus 27 what did we buy them? oh my god these are insane 509 million why would we buy so much? demand is 1.4 million Oh, they've damaged our... They've damaged our land fabrication facilities and our barracks here in the fortification. That's why we're buying so much... Uh, so many military goods to repair these. Problem is we can't really afford it. I don't know if they did that or... I mean, if the computer... The AI realized what they would do by attacking this instead of this. That this would, at the, act, the actual prices of uh, military goods, would cripple my economy. I don't think they did, but uh, yeah, worked out <laughs> pretty well for them. They really. They really put us in the red there with this move. Okay, guys, so uh, on this note, I will um, end this episode. Uh, I hope uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. It wasn't very exciting, not much happened. Uh, but um, yeah, hopefully, in the next episode, uh, these facilities will be constructed and. Uh, our economy would uh, look a bit better and uh, we can uh, start uh, waging a bit of a more uh, aggressive uh, war, not just uh, defend ourselves. So thanks again very much and uh, please um, comment uh, in, the, in the comment section below and like this video if you enjoyed this campaign. Thanks.